Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are finally getting divorced. But has Joe been plotting this all along? Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I am Nate, and these are the top 10 ways Joe Jonas tried to destroy Sophie Turner. Number 10. Partying too hard. Joe has not been doing himself any favor since the announcement of this divorce. In the past few days, he's made several claims as to the reason that Sophie may have decided to leave him. Originally, the world was under the assumption that Joe had possibly cheated on her, but according to Joe, the reason was her partying lifestyle didn't mesh with his stay at home lifestyle. The claims have been disputed and called silly, as not only has Sophie rarely been seen out and about as much as her hubby Joe, but she said a dozen times over the years that she she is a homebody and a super massive major introvert. Meanwhile, Joe has been on tour for over a year and many fans have shared photos of him just living it up. For someone claiming that they prefer to stay home, this guy really sure does like to splurge. Not to mention, he claims that Sophie has been behaving like this since they first got married. It only took four years for her to leave. Yeah, that makes no sense. In fact, she was pregnant and raising a kid for about half of their relationship. When would she have had time to party? Well, it turns out she might have time now because she was photographed living it up in the UK this weekend, clearly taking some time off to let out some steam. Number 9. Not getting Game of Thrones Sophie rose to mainstream stardom when she was just 13 years old, playing the role of Sansa Stark on Game of Thrones. HBO found a gem when they casted Sophie, and thanks to her performance and that of her incredible co-stars, the show received 8 seasons and launched her career. One person who did not get that show at all was her husband Joe Jonas. Early on in their relationship, Sophie was nervous about losing Losing Joe if they were to spend extended time away from each other. Her concerns were not shared by Joe, as he was pretty oblivious as to exactly how popular the series was. Joe's had mixed opinions on the show, revisiting it from time to time, but as he got closer with Sophie, he became more and more uncomfortable with watching the show. Now, I've personally never watched more than maybe a handful of episodes, but in those handfuls, I saw, well, handfuls of bits and bobs that you're not usually supposed to see on TV. Then there is, of course, the graphic scenes of both lovemaking and, you know, fighting, so I can imagine why Joe might not love this show. Game of Thrones is Sophie's baby, so when Joe talks about the show, you can see her visibly disappointed in what he's saying. Hey Joe, if you want to roast Game of Thrones, do it online like everybody else does. Number 8. She's messing with a gold digger. According to an inside source close to this couple, Joe was beyond excited when he started dating Sophie, and it sounds like it might be because of her money. According to the source, one of the main reasons that Joe is so smitten with his ex-man wife is because she is able to provide for herself and for him. Sophie does not let Joe pay for things most of the time, something that the musician is not used to but has clearly taken advantage of over the years. When speaking about his wife in interviews, Joe kind of backed up this gold digging theory as the first and foremost thing he mentions is how much he loves her independence because you know she buys him stuff all the time and he loves it. While many praise Sophie for her efforts, many people began pointing out this red flag and expressing their discomfort. Knowing that Joe Jonas doesn't pay the bill when he's out with his lady. Maybe that's why they're getting divorced. She kept tabs and the bill finally came due. This man has just slowly been milking her for everything she's got. Think about all the places that they've traveled as a couple. This dude must have gotten away with millions. Number 7. Cheating on her. The current tea spilling across the internet is that Joe Jonas is entirely to blame for the situation happening between himself and Sophie. The initial reports that came from Joe and his PR team was that the relationship was irretrievably damaged. There were no specifics, but he was making it sound like something truly terrible had happened. Usually when someone shares something like this, it means a cheating scandal or something possibly worse. But Joe released a statement claiming that she was leaving him so she could party it up without him dragging her down. Fans and Sophie herself were quick to remind Joe that she doesn't flock to the club like he does, as previously mentioned. While she was partying in the UK this past week, it seems like it was just for celebratory reasons. It's now been confirmed that something most definitely happened in the realm of cheating. The exact details are unknown, but many speculate that the entanglement took place only a few months ago, as Joe was photographed without his wedding band for a short period of time, but only days before the divorce announcement, it had magically returned. Number 6. Hesitate. Joe wrote what is considered to be the sweetest love song of all time, 
for Sophie Turner. While the song Hesitate is a slow jam that's worth your listening time, the actual lyrics had some people raising some pretty serious red flags. The highlights of the lyrics include kiss the tears right off your face, time heals if we work through it, and I promise we will figure this out. All of these sound like examples of Joe trying to say, hey, I'm sorry I've hurt you, but we can fix this together. What did he do? There were never any cheating scandals reported before the divorce was announced, but this song clearly sounds like him apologizing for some serious infidelity. Or did he just want to start a rumor himself? The lyrics have been broken down by super fans, not by me, <coughs> lame. Many Joe Nissians have theorized that Joe included the revealing lyrics on purpose to create this fake story. These days, relationships are at the top of the media storm. This year alone, we've seen over 20 chaotic public divorces play out. The current news is that Joe did in fact fall back to his cheating ways, and this may have been the thing that finally sent Sophie off the edge and Joe out the front door. Number five flirting in front of her. When these two first got together, it was believed that Joe had all of the leverage. Now why? Well, apparently Sophia was into him for quite some time, but she was aware that Joe was not known for his commitment skills. When they first met, he was a player. According to several women, he was seeing them simultaneously and without each other's knowledge. Joe's tone shifted when he met Sophie, and by December of 2016, he was becoming a one-woman kind of guy. According to Sophie, they were intoxicated with each other and began dating exclusively. However, it appears that he was playing the field for so long that he forgot to turn off his game. Joe was constantly flirting with women at his shows, and now while it may have been accidental, the fact that he's not aware of what he's doing is definitely cause for concern. Number four, dissing the X-Men to Sophie's face. For those who may not remember, Sophie has actually been a part of a few major motion projects. Now, while she's mainly known for her role in Game of Thrones, many Marvel fans may know her as Jean Grey from the last two X-Men movies released by Fox. According to Joe himself, when he first saw Sophie in X-Men Apocalypse, they were still very fresh into their relationship. However, they were close enough for Joe to just roast the movie from start to finish right to her face. The world collectively agreed that Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix are terrible movies. If you haven't seen them, just trust me. But that Sophie and the cast overall are not the problem. But that didn't matter to Joe. In what has been described as a full-on rant, Joe told Sophie that the movie was a waste of time. He claimed that it was an insult to superhero movies and that she should be thankful that Fox got sold to Disney. Ouch. Sophie took the insults and stride and bounced back with reminding Joe that she was in a movie. Even his own brother Nick has acted more than Joe has and he was a Disney kid. Number three, forcing her to stay in America. Sophie Turner was born in the United Kingdom in Northampton. Ever since she made it big in the States, it's been her dream to return to the UK to live permanently and to raise her family. Joe is completely against that idea. From the time they were together right up until this past week, the idea of moving to the other side of the globe with his wife was just not something that excited the pop star. Sophie has spoken out about the issue several times over the years, but never really got into the specifics. It turns out that while the Jonas Brothers are world famous, Joe is of course more comfortable on his home turf, which is the exact same thing that Sophie's trying to get at. He tore down any hope she had of living with him and their child, so it looks like she decided to just do it on her own. And instead. Number two, tried to ride her coattail. As Joe's relationship with Sophie progressed, he started showing his true colors. While Sophie has not starred in many projects since becoming a mom, deciding to take time off to focus on herself and her family, Joe spends the majority of his time on a bus with his crew. Apparently the decision to not be a stay-at-home dad was one that he made the moment they got together. Throughout her entire pregnancy, an insider close to Sophie revealed that Joe was trying to get acting gigs based on her recommendations. While this woman was literally growing their spawn, he was like, So, can I be in the next X-Men movie? Like, come on, guy, you were on the Disney Channel. You're telling me you can't walk into an office and just smile? How do you think Nick Jonas got a role in Jumanji? His acting skills? No. It feels like his decision to go on tour was an act of spite. One of the main things that Sophie was worried about from day one was a distance due to work, and look where they are now. And at number one, they called off their marriage as a joke. Joe and Sophie tied the knot in Las Vegas after publicly claiming several times that they were in no rush to get married. Now, after telling the world that they'd be taking time off for themselves following the engagement, it was not less than a month later that they tied the knot and attended the Billboard Music Awards directly after getting their 
their license. They went to a little wedding chapel in Las Vegas that's famous for its star weddings like Britney Spears' marriage to her friend Jason Alexander that lasted about two days. What many people may not know is that only one day before the ceremony, Sophie and Joe got cold feet and actually broke up. While the idea came from a mutual place, Joe was apparently under the impression that this was a prank that she was trying to pull. Get him out to the desert and abandon him. <laughs> Hilarious. When they did eventually get back together, Sophie was just shocked at Joe's assumptions. If Sophie had never reached out, how long was Joe going to run with the bit? And those are the ways that Joe tried and failed to destroy Sophie Turner. Did we miss any obvious moments? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did, show your support. It's free and it means a lot to the channel. Thanks for stopping beyond the screen and we'll see you next time. Limp <laughs>